So not too long ago, I made a video going over the rarest vehicle skins in Mad City Chapter 2. You lot absolutely love that and have been begging me to do another one. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the 10 rarest vehicles in Mad City Chapter 2. If you own any of these 10, you should be starting to use them because like, come on, like hardly anyone even owns them. So there's a few things to note before we go over this list. I'm not going to include vehicles that aren't publicly available, like this truck here that's only available for influencers and content creators. And also the Crown Academy car, which is, uh, I can spawn it, but I can't drive it. Only the developers can drive it so it has to be a vehicle that's publicly available so coming in at number 10 we've got the heat seeker this vehicle was available back in season three and it was obtainable by defeating the kua kua boss pretty cool obviously with the new kind of update making it easier to turn planes it's a lot better to drive it's pretty cool it is quite slow but i mean I, that's, you kind of have to expect that to be honest but yeah it's a pretty cool vehicle i'm a big fan of it to be honest and it was one of the first vehicles that i actually got so we're going to stay on season three and go to the level 100 vehicle the only vehicle reward that was in season three that hyperdrive so yeah like i said this vehicle was available at level 100 it's got a giant trail behind it look at that it's really cool it like moves around but this vehicle is electric it is really fast with the boost here it, uh, it's got great acceleration the speed of it is all right it's not too bad but yeah it's pretty uh it's pretty cool it definitely looks very interesting so now we're gonna get into robux vehicles here's the first one we got the g wagon right here so this released on christmas day with season five and it was it cost 800 robux uh these were kind of the rims that came with it uh they still don't move which is just so annoying it's so annoying look at these rear wheels and they don't even move but this vehicle is quite cool i like how the boost comes out of the side uh it is pretty quick as well obviously it's it's like 800 robux worth cost about a little bit less than the vip game pass and yeah it's pretty cool it was only available for about um, like five weeks a little over a month i believe it was removed on february 8th and it obviously released on christmas so about a month and a half that it was in the game for and 800 robux so not many people have this which is why it's number eight on the list so now we're getting into the first vehicle that I actually don't own, and this is the Banshee. So this was available in Season 2. You had to defeat the very first boss in the game, the Cluckles boss. I love the design of it. I love how it's got three seats. Not many vehicles have three seats these days, so a vehicle that has three seats is awesome. And it being the first boss fight reward is very special and very important. So yeah, it's very rare because it was available in Season 2. wasn't available for very long as well. So next up is a vehicle that I was actually considering putting in number 2. This vehicle was available for one week, seven days, and it had... It was costed 800 Robux. It was introduced in Season 4. It was the very first Robux vehicle in the game, the Bullet. It came with this uh, cool skin called Bullet Flames, came with these bullet rims as well, uh, and came with the bullet spoiler, and of course the vehicle itself. And it is a pretty fast vehicle. I love the look of this vehicle so much. It's actually one of my favorite vehicles in the game. Absolutely insane how this vehicle is only in the game for a week. And this is why I was contemplating putting it at number two. Overall, it's a very good vehicle. And if you've got this vehicle, it's pretty rare, not gonna lie. So now the next four are all seasonal rewards until we get into the first one and I all I don't own any of these so we're gonna have to rely on some footage and some explanation the first one is the level 50 reward the Itali GT here it is this looks really cool based on like an uh, original kind of uh, Formula One car from back in the day very small as well I feel like I'm crouching and I'm like half the length of it when I'm crouching this is, thing is tiny here's some footage of it on the screen we've got a great little steering wheel so like I mentioned level 50 in season 2 in chapter 1 quite a rare uh, vehicle for this one not gonna lie and now for the level 100 rig in season two uh, is the hoverboard. This one could float over water. Looks sick. We've got some uh, great little boosts over here. I've got the uh, the Halo, which is like the chapter two version of it, but I don't have the hoverboard. Here's some footage on the screen of it. Obviously, it could go over the water and it's pretty quick as well. It's, it's very fun to drive. And now at number three, third place, taking the third rarest vehicle, we have the Phantom. This vehicle is the level 50 season one vehicle. Season one was only in the game for about a month and a half. So this was a very kind of limited, very rare vehicle. It looks sick here's footage on the screen of it there aren't that many motorbikes in the game so the fact that these literal first season included a motorbike as a level 50 reward is just insane it's really cool so taking second place missing out on the top spot we have the reaper as i mentioned with the phantom this vehicle was only available in the game for about oh, like a month and a half and you couldn't spend robux to get levels you just had to grind to level 100 back in the day to get this vehicle here's some footage on the screen of it you've got the giant boost uh, on the back uh, looking really cool it is actually basically the fastest land vehicle in the game it's got the same speed as the nero however the acceleration is better so overall it technically is faster i love how it has two seats and i really like the design of it it definitely is out there and like a very unique vehicle they kind of went out there in season one making a vehicle that looked very uh interesting uh, i guess uh aesthetically and now finally taking first place the rarest vehicle in mad city's history only about 100 people have this or i think it's about 110 now it is 
the Cyberplane. So this vehicle was available in Season 6 thanks to a special event and the first 100 people to complete the event would get this plane. This plane can turn like 50% invisible, it can drop bombs, it can also fire missiles, uh, providing you're not on mobile, and it is also very fast. I believe it's the fastest uh, plane in the entire game. Obviously the turning speed buff with the planes, as I mentioned before with the Banshee, has made this vehicle very cool. So yeah, those are pretty much all 10 of the vehicles. If you've got any questions about any uh, vehicles that I've mentioned in any other vehicles, then comment them down below. And also comment down below how many of the 10 vehicles you own. We're going to do something a little bit different to normal outros. This video is very similar to another video I did going over the rarest vehicle skins in Mad City. If you want to check that out, you can click up there. And if you want to check out another video I did reviewing the Cyberplane, which is the rarest vehicle in the game, you can click down there. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Eddie MD, and as always, peace out.